Dave Taylor here again, and this time I'm in my kitchen because we're gonna test this thing out. This is the Neg Egg Peeler. And the idea is you put a hard boiled egg in it with just a little bit of water, shake it up a little bit, and it comes out perfectly shelled. Now, I've peeled a lot of hard boiled eggs in my time and I'm a little skeptical. So I thought I would go through all their best practices with hard boiling eggs, 12 minutes, then an ice bath, and then I'd try this out and we'd see if this really works. So, first things first, you put a cap full of water into it and that sort of cushions the initial cracking. And so maybe a tiny bit less. Then we take one of our eggs out of the ice bath. Ooh, it's cold. Put it in. You ready? This is, this is where all the action happens. And now, so you can see we have the egg and there's just a little bit of water in there. And I'm gonna shake it up. And the first couple of shakes are obviously gonna break the eggshell, but then the water's supposed to get underneath it. And it's somewhere between four and 12 shakes. The neg is supposed to actually crack the shell so easily, so well, that I'll be able to peel it in just a second. So, let's move the glass out of the way. And let's give it a whirl. So you can already hear it sounds different. And it's leaking slightly, it's kind of a drag. I'm gonna give it more than a couple of shakes, just for good luck. And so now you can see, maybe, it's cracked. Let's see what happens. So, I'm gonna pour it out, and then we have the egg. It doesn't look like anything's happened, but let's see. And I'm gonna go ahead and just peel it straight into the same water, because you can just rinse it, it's pretty easy. So, it definitely cracked the shell, and in just, a couple of seconds, I'll give it a rinse, and okay, I gotta say, I was a skeptic, but that's a perfectly peeled hard boiled egg. Should we try it again? I think we should. So, let's give it one more shot to see if this works twice. Again, fill it up just about a capful, and then we'll put another one of our eggs in, and shake it up. And I don't know if you're supposed to actually move it around like this, but that's what I'm doing. And here's one thing they say is don't shake too enthusiastically because <laughs> my son tried this and he's possibly ridiculously overstrong and it just made mincemeat out of the whole thing. No, it made egg salad out of the whole thing and it really didn't work well. So this one looks very similar and we're going to do the same thing. And I mean already it's just... It just seems to make the whole job much easier. Let's go ahead and give it a quick peel. And quite frankly, different eggs are different. How old your egg is, how long you cook it, whether or not you actually stop the cooking. This one's a little bit trickier, so I'll just keep working on it. Um, all of those things can affect it. And the neg also comes in four colors. Obviously I have red. Um, this one's not quite as perfect, but it's pretty darn nice. And this is definitely something that you could cut in half and make deviled eggs out of or something else or put on a salad. So that's two for two, that's pretty good. Now, let's see. The neg comes in four colors. This is red, it also comes in white, black, yellow, and if you check on their website, there's some deal with pink ones, if you like pink. Um, and let's see, it's invented by a gal named Bonnie Tyler who was supposed to bring eggs to an event and couldn't peel any of them. They all just fell apart. So she got super frustrated and invented this baby. So thank you, Bonnie, it actually works pretty well. How did I do this? I did this by adding a capful of water and then shaking it roughly a dozen times, so easy enough. And if you wanna pick up one for yourself, they're $17.99 at negmaker.com. This is the Neg Egg Peeler, and it's kinda of made me a believer. This is, as they say, the proof of the pudding. It worked really well. So, it's Dave Taylor, and I'm back to making some scrambled eggs. No, not scrambled eggs. I'm back to making an egg salad sandwich. But before I make my sandwich, can I ask, can you click on that subscribe button so we can stay in touch? Awesome, and I'll catch you in the next video.